Hey team, I just want to quickly talk about putting your boat into gear. If this is you putting your boat into gear, oh, please don't do that. That makes my soul cringe. You're actually reducing the lifespan of your gearbox if you do that. So to explain why, I found a brilliant video. Um, the engineer who presents this is obviously quite passionate about it. Like mo most engineers, he likes to get into the nitty gritty. Basically, I just want to know, will it go or no? So I've axed and slashed his video to give you your executive summary. So watch this video and come straight back Here's to me. the main drive shaft uh, to the motor. So the motor up at the power head is what turns this drive shaft, which sends power down to the gearbox. And then what we've got here is the gear selector. So we'll zoom in now and I'll show you where they sort of meet the gearbox. So the main drive shaft comes down to this bevel gear here. This bevel gear is constantly meshed with this forward gear and this reverse gear. So these two larger, larger cogs, gears here, are your forward gear and your reverse gear. And this sort of bevel pinion gear uh, is what drives those. And as the prop shaft turn, uh, sorry, the drive shaft turns, those two gears will always turn. So these are never disengaged. So when you hear kind of grinding in a gearbox, it's never, sorry, it's never these teeth grinding against these teeth. They're constantly engaged. They never actually mesh with each other. This is the dog clutch in here, and this slides forward and backwards. So at the moment, um, that dog clutch, it's got teeth on this face, and it's got teeth on that face. And by teeth, I mean just large, you know, you can see as it sort of rotates. I'll just rotate the prop shot. You can see they're just not only teeth, but what's about four different sort of squared sections. And they bite into the these faces of the forward and reverse gear. Now, if I push down on this gear selector, the gear selector's pushed the dog clutch in to engage with this reverse gear. So what it means is the engine drives this pinion, or the bevel gear, it then in turn drives the reverse gear. The reverse gear is now linked to the dog clutch, and the dog clutch is splined onto the drive shaft. So now, as I turn it, we've got reverse. And as soon as I let go of that, it comes up into neutral, and the prop's not turning. It turns occasionally, you'll see, just because of a bit of friction, there's no oil in this, etc. Um, then if it lifts up, it engages with the forward gear, and suddenly you've got forward drive. So after that video, it's quite apparent that we need to mesh the dog clutch in nice and assertively to stop that grinding. And how we do that is quite simply, assertively pop it into gear. Neutral, reverse, boom, into gear. Now when you do that, just be careful that you don't give it too much power and go into the power range and uh, you're off to the races inadvertently. So assertive gear selection is what we do. And by the way, always pause in neutral before uh, selecting the opposite gear. Uh, that will vastly increase the lifespan of your gearbox and reduce those nasty bills you get at your next service.